All right, I'm gonna try to get through this video without it being too cringe, because I'm an old man, and we're talking about some very new current slang words. This is what the kids are saying these days. This is how Gen Z speaks, especially on TikTok. Or at least that's what my wife tells me. I don't go on TikTok, but she does. And she's a lot closer to Gen Z than this millennial, this chill zoom. But if you like slang and you spend a lot of time on the internet watching all kinds of content, or if you just want to be one of the cool kids, well, here are some slang terms that are current and common enough that anyone, even I, can use them without sounding too lame. These are the five new slang terms that you have to know. Did you know cap is a verb? Well, yes, this, this is a cap, and, and this is a bottle cap. But these days, to cap also means to lie, to deceive, right? So if my buddy said to me, yeah, I just ordered a PS5. It was super easy. I just went to the Sony website and ordered one. I would say, dude, quit capping. The PS5 has been sold out for over a year. There's no way you bought one. Stop capping. Also, Sony, get your sh together. I want to play video games. So that's it. Instead of saying lie, just say cap. Another common way to use this slang is to say no cap at the end of a sentence. And that means that you're not lying. It emphasizes that what you just said is the truth, or at least you believe it to be true. So even if it's just your opinion, you can back it up by saying no cap. And that automatically makes it a true fact. Tobey Maguire is still the best actor to ever play Spider-Man. No cap. When something is just so good, it's the perfect sensation. Like after a long wild night at the club partying, now you're starving. It's like three, four, five o'clock in the morning and you go to some lunch au match douze and you get a big old greasy cheese doudou and it's just heavenly or or when you're walking around town on a scorching hot summer day sun beating down quarenta graus and then you enter a building that has the ac blasting how do you describe such a perfect feeling really good great no those things hit different they just Hit different. Tia changing de um jeito diferente, cara. Sei lá, é diferente. They hit different. So anything like that, an experience, a food, a drink, a song, it's not just great. It hits different. Bro, I got this new tereré. You gotta try it, man. It just hits different. The best way I can describe this one is it's like pode crer, pode pa. It's used to agree, confirm, acknowledge, say yes, say okay. And it's a shortened version of the phrase you bet, which is like pode apostar que sim. To simplify things though, basically anytime you would say pode crer, you can say bet instead. Dude, you want another beer? Bet. Hey, I'm gonna run to the store real quick. I'll be right back. Bet. You down to go to that baseball game tonight? Bet. You gonna click like on this video? Bet. And then you actually have to do it though, because you already said bet. So go ahead. I'll wait. When someone is acting strange, suspicious they are being sus short for suspicious 
think back to when everyone was playing that game Among Us and you just knew that someone was the imposter because they were being sus. Or like when I ask my wife, hey, what happened to my ice cream? And then she says, hmm, that's odd. I have no idea what happened to it. She's being sus. Okay, I admit, this one is definitely not new or exclusive to Gen Z. But it's a classic. It's been around for decades and continues to be popular. Do you know what it means? Well, it's an exclamation of alarm or surprise. Like, eita! Yikes! Nowadays, it's used more specifically to react to things that are cringy, awkward, embarrassing. For example, when you see a relative post a very misguided, uninformed, just stupid political opinion on Facebook, or when you hear about a celebrity getting canceled, especially if they really deserve it, or like when you're laying in bed trying to sleep and suddenly you remember something really, really cringy that you texted to your crush like 12 years ago. The perfect reaction that really captures the shock, disappointment, embarrassment, the cringe is yikes. And this emoji, yikes. And speaking of smooth transitions, did you know I have a series of English classes called Born in the USA? Yeah, they're kind of like my YouTube videos, except longer, more information, and they're organized from basic all the way to very advanced. And it's part of the complete English course Gavin's Elite Squad. So if you or someone you know wants to take your English listening and speaking skills to the next level, join me, teacher Paula Gabriela, and Gavin Roy in the next group of students. But check it out, the spots fill up super fast. So if you want to guarantee a spot in the class and a discount, put your name on the waiting list right now link in the description it only takes about 15 seconds to sign up and it's free dude free you sign up now just to guarantee a spot in the next group of students and then you decide later if you really want to do it but if you want a spot you need to put your name on that waiting list so click the link in the description to learn more and i will see you in class so now you know about the most popular current English slang. So if you find yourself on Gringo TikTok, you'll probably have a much easier time understanding. And let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And as a challenge, try to use it in a sentence. And that's it for today. I will see you next time. Peace out.